Um, so, what did I do all that for? Uh, whereas attack and defense will become earth-based. Interesting. Let's give it a try. I don't know that that'll do me any good here, but we sure equipped it anyway. Okay, I definitely want to save after that. <laughs> Well, I got some herbs. Right, I think that I cleared the monsters for the quest. So let's go try to turn that in. And also, let's go back to the sewers to heal. Because that's what we do in this game. We go to the sewers to heal. Uh, there we are. Probably could have done that more easily had I rotated the camera. But who needs to rotate cameras? I mean, really. Let's see, I need 30 of each type to open up another slot in my... for equipping stuff. Uh, I have... Uh... No, this does not appear to be the menu I want. There we are. I don't have enough wind or time. Or earth, but I'm like one off on earth. Really? Do I... Do I need to talk to you first? No? Hmm. Maybe you? No. Hmm. That's odd. I was sure that I killed all the, all the monsters. That I needed for that. Excuse me. Well, whatever. Can I... Let's see... Aha! Oh, this is actually quite expensive. <laughs> How much money do I have? 56. I guess I could just dump, unload some of my uh, Seraph, but I don't really want to do that quite yet. Okay, they respawned. I guess those were not the monsters I was supposed to be hunting down. In fairness, this is a little bit vague. It's just pine plants? Huh. These are all cats, and admittedly, these these weeds are not pine plants. I, I guess it's probably like further later on. Wait, wait. You had a good drop. Did not get the drop this time. Oh well. Pretzel Farm is to the south. Found a tear bomb. The chest is empty. Ha ha! Gotcha! Screenshot. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay. Come to think of it, those, those monsters are called flying cats, but we're getting beast flesh from them, so are we even cats? Ah! Estelle definitely hits harder than Joshua at this point. But Joshua does have better attacking moves overall, I think. Alright, we're good to go. Let's see. Got some farms down there, but is this what I'm after? 
Nope. Uh, that one. <laughs> Estelle is closer to it. What does Seraphop actually do, anyway? That's not really totally clear to me, because it doesn't generate EP, that's something different. Maybe it makes Seraph's moves just more powerful? Like, it makes Arts more powerful, maybe? I don't know. I mean, clearly. Just... oh. Oh, uh, come on, he had Joshua, not Estelle. You deserve that, Joshua, for getting it. <laughs> In the first place. Heal before leveling up because I'm gonna be healed when I level up. Hmm. This one, okay, this one looks a little bit different. No, wait, there's more than one of them. Oh, and I ran into a bug. <laughs> it wasn't my intention to attack you, but here we are. Oh. Yep, here we are, all right. Okay. Surely one of these is the damn time thing, right? Oh, these actually look different. Nope, they're, they're still Lily Movers. Damn it! Well, with Strike Up, you can probably one shot it. Yep. Uh. I guess if I get crit, I get crit. It doesn't really matter which one has the bonus. Very weak against fire. Hmm. Maybe I could have put on something for that. I didn't, but maybe I could have. That's that. Let's move out. I mean, I know you're not what I'm looking for, but I'm gonna fight you anyway. Okay. Seriously? I think I, I may have fought every enemy in this area. Nope, there's still one there. But no freaking pine monster. Hmm. That's a little frustrating. That is a little bit frustrating. come here, this place always is so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here. I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary. Anyway, let's go ask someone here to fill us in on some details. I wonder if Tio is home today. Is that eggplant? Oh, I feel sick. Not eggplant. Anything but eggplant! One of these is green. Q. 
chickens! This is like a little hydroponics. Or, n well, no, it's not actually hydroponics. It is clearly not. But it's like a little, uh, greenhouses. Possibly with a watering system, but that's not the same thing as hydroponics. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't talk with the cow. Oh, yes, I can talk with the cow! At least one of them. Tio! It's been a while. Wait, that was a. Oh, it's Joshua. Estelle? And Joshua too? Did you guys come for a visit? Uh, not exactly. We're here on Bracer Business. We heard you'd been having some trouble with monsters. You finished all your training? That's wonderful news! Maybe you can help after all. So are there really monsters giving you trouble? Regrettably, that's been the case for the past few days now. Thanks to which I'm suffering from a lack of sleep. You are very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. I imagine he should be back from delivering the milk and vegetables any time now. It's Joshua! I wish I had the time, but I'm afraid today I'm here for work. <laughs> Clearly. Joshua, Estelle. Are your mom and dad home? Yep, they came home. They're inside right now. Hmm. Bedroom? Bedroom and crib? No, it's a bunk bed. Ah, uh, that's... that's adorable. So there's five of them, right? One, two, three, four... Ha! Huh. There is some attention to detail right there. Oh, and then this is... There are a lot of beds in this farm. Oh, hey, there we go. Good afternoon, pretzels. How is everyone getting on these days? Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua... Oh, wait, no, this is... That, that clearly says Hannah. Uh, wait. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Come to see Tio? We're actually just chatting. We were actually just chatting with her outside. Uh, indeed. Is that so... But don't you think this job is just a little dangerous for the two of you to handle? Uh, I mean, I'm... No. I definitely didn't get swarmed and almost killed by monsters on the way here. Why would you bring that up? Let's never speak of this again. Don't sweat it. We're bracers after all. And taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized us to carry out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. All right then, go ahead and have at it. Could you tell us a little bit more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble a chubby cat. As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night and raid our fields, gnawing on anything they can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but they're very nimble. We've tried to capture them before, but we just can't. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, 
you couldn't make us leave. <laughs> yes! Again, though, I feel like we should learn the recipe afterwards. I feel like that's a thing that should happen. <laughs> That was delicious. Your mom's cooking is as good as ever, Tio. Ha! <laughs> That's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over. I feel bad for Joshua, though. With the little ones jumping all over him like that? Ha! <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, kids tend to latch on to him a lot. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that children enjoy playing with such a stick in the mud. He's definitely courteous and maybe a little reserved, but if you get to know him, he's a really caring young man. Plus, he puts up with your shit. Like, come on, Estelle, get some perspective. With those striking good looks, the, those mysterious amber eyes, and the lush black hair, it's only. <laughs> She only thinks of him um, as a sibling because he is her sibling. I mean, I don't suppose he would. It is sort of his own business. And he doesn't seem like the bragging type. boy, I imagine it would be a different story. But as a girl, I don't think that's something he would want to talk to you about. And the fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. They're siblings! <sighs> Wait a second. Do the parents have two different beds? Not sure about that. <laughs> anyway. Wait, so you're saying Joshua is into Estelle? I don't know about that either. Wow, that, that is blunt, all right. Come on now. Where are you coming up with this stuff? Since it came to live with us, we've always done everything together, right? Even though we had our fair share of fights, we're all good. they're all good memories now. And uh, what I mean to say is, I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. So if there's ever anything on your mind you want to talk about, make remember you can borrow an ear from me. That's that's how that saying goes, right? That's def that's definitely exactly what was written down. Uh <laughs> what indeed? It seems like he does have a deep, dark secret, which Asil's father knows, but she does not. I don't know what it is either. So, wow, it's really dark out here in the countryside. So, Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first? Then we'll move on to the fields, the stable, the greenhouse. We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it that way.
Okay, well that was around the house. Next up is the barn. I'm so happy I can do that. Ah, uh, the cow seems safe. So that actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Psst, look! That looks more like a squirrel than a cat to me. Oh wow, that noise was adorable. Okay, well, it went down this way, so... No. Nope. Um... Hmm. Over here, then. Oh, I saw it! Crop muncher, giant crop muncher, and crop muncher. But they, they said there were four, but there's only three here. Hmm. Well, uh, let's speed up. Yep, keep feeding up Joshua, I guess. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking at that turn order, and this, this, this might hurt. Oh boy, yes, it did. I probably could have stolen that. That might have been a good move to steal it. Well, too late now. Okay, you should actually heal yourself. We'll try doing it with magic this time. And then I should really start actually attacking. It's playing dead. <laughs> okay, this could hurt Joshua a lot, but it did not target Joshua. Okay, let's actually start killing monsters now.
Oh yeah, that would have killed the spell for sure. Oh. I guess that's because it was playing dead. on those crops, new crop muncher. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I guess I missed my opportunity there. Hmm. Well. Strength boost on a super attack, and hopefully not get murdered by its magic power. Okay, okay, that works. All right, we rule. Yeah, I've only burned through like all of my items. All of them, they are all gone. My goodness, the work of a bracer is something else. You kids have done a fine job rounding up these critters. Yeah, I mean, I definitely wasn't almost murdered by a magic using mo giant monster or anything. <laughs> I wanted to ask you though, now that they've been caught, what do you plan on doing with them? Uh. I think they will cause more trouble, but I don't really want to exterminate them because they're so cute. <laughs> Ooh, this is a tough one. Well... Ah, fine. You spoil sport. After taking a beating like that, I'm sure they've learned their lesson. Okay, they are on my side. <laughs> I myself am against killing them too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is we're all living beings trying to survive on the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of those living creatures around us as we go about our daily lives. Huh. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these critters just once? Understood. Since this is coming from the ones who suffer the actual loss, I won't object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know I had you two come all the way up here. I'll make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. <laughs> That's terrific. Well, I consider this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so how about we head back to the house and hit the sack? The two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. I appreciate your hospitality. I've just realized that I, that during this entire session, I have forgotten to actually record it. So I'm going to need to use the uh, so I'm going to need to use the Twitch VOD for editing, which is a shame because I get better sound quality when I record it myself. But oh well, what you gonna do? Well, we'll remember to record it next time. That's what I'm gonna do. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? Joshua? I'm sorry. I made this situation really awkward for everyone. 
what are you talking about? Oh, are you talking about what happened? Don't sweat it. I guarantee you, nobody thought anything, uh, any ill of you for it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. You're not cold-hearted. Eh, you're maybe a little indifferent. Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. It's at times like this that I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua! Don't you dare say things like that about yourself! I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years, and I'm confident in saying that I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than you! I won't allow you to just disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense like that. I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. I'm sorry. It was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's what really matters. But you know what? Believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Your real problem, Joshua, is that you're always trying to keep your feelings locked up. It's not healthy to bottle it up like that. You just go around with this nonchalant look and you try to fix everything by yourself. That's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Estelle, I... Joshua, you were about to lay bare your own weakness today. Able to lay bare. You learned to trust in someone other than yourself. Me. The best person in the world, Estelle the Hyperbracer. Uh, <laughs> and for that, I'm happy. <laughs> she is certainly the daughter of that man. Uh, yeah, let's do it. To bed with us. Thank you both, you did us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else we can do to help with the future, please just let the Bracer Guild know. It'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit again when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over for the night again when things are convenient for you. I'll treat you to some of my best cooking! Thanks for the invitation, Tio. Pretzels. <laughs> that was sweet. Oh! Another one? Okay, I don't mind seeing the cutscene, but I was really hoping for, like, a pause in there. Um, alright, how about we head back to the guild? After we report this one, we can start on the next. On to the next one! Next time! Because I am done for the night. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I know I know, I had one or a couple people drop by live. And I hope you enjoyed it, um, although a more, a more quiet lot than last time, it must be said. And I hope you enjoy watching this, uh, when the video goes up. You know, like, I'm gonna say probably two months from now, at the rate I'm going, I might end up increasing that, the uploading rate for this, to three a week, because I feel like I'm recording enough for it. But at the same time, I won't necessarily be recording every single week. Like, I'm probably gonna be busy next week. So I might not be able to do that. Anyway, I digress. Until next time, this has been Tra uh, Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. And I'm from Chaos Blue. And have a great day, night, or whatever time it is. Bye!